that are sharing the stage with me today. The boot of the bass, Michael Colbath. Michael and I made our first record, it's called The Hard Way, 30 years ago. Yeah, yes, yes, could you believe it? And we'll be doing the title track during this set, 30 years, six records down, another one coming this year. I call on the beat of our hearts on drums, Lauren and Tress. I knew Lauren from playing with Big Al Anderson. He's played with him for, well, more than 10 years, right? 12 years, maybe. And let me tell you something, you don't hold that gig unless you're good. If Al didn't like him, he would have been gone like after the first set, probably. But 12 years later, he's also played with Gloria McKenna. He just got off the road with Mary Chapin Carpenter the second of summer. And Lauren came into the band at a time when we really needed somebody to come in. Our original drummer had come with a really, actually it's an incurable illness. He's doing fine, but it, mean, it means that he can't play anymore. I asked Lauren and he very graciously accepted. And since 2018. And over here, it comes down the Massachusetts Turnpike, my brother from another mother. Clint was one of those people that at a very young age lucked into a completely amazing gig and held it for 13 years. Not only did he hold the gig, but he ended up being the musical director for Joe Cocker all those years. Set list with a crayon. It's crayon. Eight years old. Eight years old. Yes. It made sense to Joe at the time. <laughs> recorded with Robert Palmer, and for many, many, many years now, it's been my honor to be on stage with him with the Mohegan Sun All Stars. So, Mr. Dingman. And it is our delight and our constant pleasure to come back and play for you. Anytime we can. The Connecticut shoreline is really my home, and that means that I am home right now. So thank you. So let's come down to the Garden of Eden right now, where we find a dejected Adam sitting alone on a rock, moaning and moaning and bitching to God.
It's a little bit rock and roll. Let's clap a little here. Wanna get righteous for a minute? The song was recorded by the Swan Tone. Saying cook with the gospel soul stirring. The mighty clouds of joy and the stable singer. Show that we don't do any place else. 
And this next one is one of them. This is a song originally done by the Everly Brothers. The Happy Peppy Everly Brothers. Later on, we're going to do something by the angst ridden Everly Brothers. <laughs> they weren't quite so happy and peppy. But uh, this is a sad song, but it's probably one of the happiest sad songs you're ever going to hear. <laughs> Oh 
have time for a song about my love life and the weather. <laughs> On my birthday or any other day. <laughs> you know, this is a cautionary tale, girls. If you have a sweet man, and I know there are a lot of them here tonight, you shouldn't let him out in the rain or the fog, any kind of precipitation, snow, sleet. Why is that, Beehive Queen? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Now, my baby called me up the other night and said he was going to come on over and visit me in this big, fine car, a 1959 Cadillac El Dorado, with a turquoise metallic plate paint job and a fuchsia. That's right, I said fuchsia. Velvet, tuck and roll, upholstery. You know, they don't do the tuck and roll anymore, but they really should. They should. Bring it back. They do it a different way. They do it a different way. I just bought a Prius, and it has a tuck and roll upholstery. Somehow that wouldn't work. But I said, baby, 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 baby. If you're going to come on over here in that big, fine car, you had better be prepared to stay all night and bring those pajamas with the Prince of the Geisha Girls on them that I love so much. Because honestly, darling, I can see a storm cloud on the horizon. I know it's going to pour down some rain and snow. I keep thinking about something. My mama told me, her mama told me.
John Doe never saw him now, but we're going to play any other time of the year. You people is hearing this, and nobody else does. By the way, how are you up in the balcony? I thought so. You're hopped up up there, too, aren't you? Won't quit 
We have a lot of requests for this next one. I like collect uh, vinyl 45s, what they call deep so southern soul and soul music. I found out about this woman, his name is Irma Franklin. Irma Franklin was the older sister of Aretha Franklin. Yes, a minister's daughter from Detroit, Michigan. The third sister's name was Carolyn. And she made this record in 1965 in New York City. It was written by Bert Burns, Jerry Ragavoy. They're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for songs like this. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? Oh, 
here for the first time. It was Patty's idea. Uh, and her and I'll never see some head shaking. You better get up now, because if you ain't got up yet, your time is getting short to get up. Yeah. We need to see the whole place going. Yeah, baby. It's Saturday Night Live, and you know what that means.
Take it. 
Thank you.